Hey, what's up, subscribers? Um, I have this idea to respond to some comments from uh, YouTube, special YouTube subscriber treat. Uh, so um, let's just get right into it. My whole philosophy on this is zero production values. So I'm just recording it on the phone. Uh, this is the comment. I'm not even going to do a good job recording this. This is shonky ass, but let's try it. This is from Bliss44 on the last video. Uh, I said something like, uh, you know, make sure your third eye is open, la la la. It says here, uh, not to worry. My eyes are wide open, first, second, third, and so on. The problem is that everyone around me has theirs firmly closed. And from what I've gathered, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so uh, I thought to respond to this uh, in a couple of ways. Um, number one, just to say, um, hang in there. <laughs> it's incredibly frustrating to feel uh, like you're alone or lonely um, in your opinions. Um, but uh, And then um, having said all of that, I wondered, um, what's the... What's the necessity to have people um, agree with you, around you? Um, when you disagree with other people, do, does it feel good to have anybody change your mind or try to change your mind? Um, in the past, I might have said yes, because debate seems to be healthy, seems to be something that we could engage with functionally. But lately, in the last couple of years, it seems like uh, that's not very possible for a significant majority of people anymore. The things have become far too emotional. And so on occasions when I have been pressed to change my mind about something by a friend or family member or whatever, it's, uh, it's very, very uncomfortable. Um, it's not fun and it's just not good for the relationship. So in that spirit, I've decided not to try to change other people's minds. Um, at this point, if they have come to conclusions about things, um, then I'm not going to pressure them to, to try to adopt my view. Um, it's just not worth it. I don't think that's where I'm sitting with it at the moment. I think the environment is just far too toxic and we'll risk losing friends and, um, and family members, potentially relationship with family members because we want to change their mind about something. I don't like it when someone does it to me, so I'm not doing it to anyone else uh, nowadays. Um, and having, I, I also believe in diversity of viewpoint and everything like that, so I apply that to other people as well. Having those people around me who disagree with me, I believe it's important. I want people to value my perspective and have me around them in their company. So I, I treat other people like that. I want them around me. I want to have them in my news feed. I want to have them in my personal life. And I want to, I want to say something and have their honest reaction to it. If, I, if they know that I'm judging them, I won't get that. I won't get their honest reaction to something. So I try to be um, judgment free. Even if I vehemently disagree with them, I don't want to shut off that source of that opinion, which is an honest one from someone whom I care about. And I definitely don't want to lose the relationship. So, I mean, obviously there's limits <laughs> and I've cut plenty of toxic people out of my life and I've been cut out of people's life. People who consider me toxic, I've been cut out of their life and it's kind of heartbreaking, but it's the way it goes. Um, the final thing I wanted to say to that is it's gone on too long already, um, this video, but, but so what? Um, I just want to say something else about it. If we're right and Bliss44, I don't actually know your worldview. I don't know what you believe. But if we're right about things, how can I phrase this? It ought to have positive effects on our lives. Um, holding a worldview ought to, apart from making us correct, um, ought to make us manifestly and demonstrably have positive knock-on effects in our lives. It ought to effectively lead to a good life. And that should be 
viewable. It should be manifest. So if it's not leading to that, then I think some questions need to be asked. Like, is it really right? Is it really right what we believe? And so the, 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 the knock-on effect of that viewpoint is that I'm not saying one should believe in falsehoods because they because they're useful and they give a if and they give a um you know positive benefits to life like comforting illusions or something like that that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that existing in a state of um knowing that you're you fundamentally have a functional viewpoint on the world should people should be able to see that it has positive effects on your life because you're fundamentally able to make decisions that fit uh, make decisions make like strategic decisions about your life that fit with the the opinion that you have of the world so you believe that something's wrong with the world so therefore you take mitigating steps against that and therefore you get a good result people ought to be able to view that in your life so that's where i would pu- put focus i'd put focus not on trying to change anyone else's life anyone else's mind but on making sure that you personally and for your family and loved ones are making decisions that navigate the wrong things that you see in the world successfully and create a good life that other people can look at and say, that's a good life. Now, what is a good life? <laughs> that's the hugest question of, that's arguably in the top three, four hugest questions of philosophy that's been tackled since the dawning of, human mind and um i might tackle that a little bit myself what is a good life i have strong opinions about it nowadays so that's what i wanted to say about that um bliss 44 um there is there might well be nothing you can do about um other people with with um with their eyes closed as you as you call it um but their eyes won't be closed to you being able to navigate the chaos of the world better or as well as anyone else with your opinion and that's what people may be interested in and therefore they might be interested in what worldview it was that that gave you the ability to navigate things more successfully and and then you know if if you believe that their their eyes are closed and yet they're able to make good strategic decisions about life and navigate things you know there's something of value there so don't be closed necessarily to what someone else believes about the world and how it gives them power to navigate this world successfully. Okay, huge ramble, different kind of content from me. I've, I've not really done a video like that before. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, other people dropping comments, uh, you know, feel free to ask, you know, big, <laughs> big philosophical statements like that. I might just jump on and, and, and answer some of them. Uh, yeah, if you liked it, give a thumbs up subscribe, um, all that stuff. And yeah, drop a comment. I really love um, hearing from everybody. And thank you for saying subscribed. Uh, All right. As always, the most important thing, the most valuable resource on the planet, without which much else is impossible. Peace.